I'm getting news today, August 8th, 1918, that 20,000 Allied soldiers moved into the Somme River in the northwest of France through the Amiens to take over the Germans' control of the region. With nearly 80 tanks and eight, 700 artillery guns and bayonets, the 20,000 German soldiers didn't stand a chance. We are getting word that nearly 19,000 Allied soldiers were killed or injured in the battle. Germany's army was almost completely exhausted. We will keep you updated on this, on the impact this battle, battle has in the course of the war. In the arms of the German soldier's diary that was killed a week ago in the Battle of Amiens. He wrote, The morale of my brothers is weak. We are hungry, we are tired, and we miss our loved ones. We are almost ready to surrender as these conditions are too much to bear. But many people have come too far to give up their pride and coward out now. Amiens was of immense importance to the Allies as it was a major drive used to receive supplies for the front line and from there those supplies were moved out to where they were needed. The Battle of Amiens was a major turning point in the temple of the war. The Germans had started the war with the Schlieffen Plan before the race to the sea slowed the movement on the western front and the war developed into a trench warfare. Armored support helped the Allies tear a hole through trench lines weakening trench positions. The British Third Army with no armor support had almost no effect on the line while the fourth, with fewer than a thousand tanks, broke deep into German territory. By August 11th, the Germans had returned to their original pre-spring offensive lines. On August 8th, there was a return to mobile warfare as well as the first large surrenders of German troops. By the conclusion of the first phase on August 11th, Allied losses numbered 22,200 killed, wounded, and missing. German losses were an astounding 74,000 killed, wounded, and captured. Seeking to continue the advance, Haig launched a second assault on August 21st with the goal of taking Bapon. Pressing the enemy, the British broke through southeast of Arras on September 2nd, forcing the Germans to retreat to the Hindenburg Line. The British success at Amiens and Bapon led Fonch to plan the Mersou-Argonne offense which ended the war later that fall. 